Joint Navy and UN forces are stopping ships bound for China, Indonesia, and Australia, full of heroin and crystal methamphetamine. Even with their president's new laws on the prevention of child labor, many of the illegally run sapphire and jade mines are still labored by children. I can't do this. Can you get it through your fucking head? Just not now. Why? It's not like you're in country. You need help, Seth. Still seeing things? Fuck you! I've got to sort it. I just, just not now. She is your daughter, Seth. Lizzie should have her father around once in a while. I can't do it on my own. I've been offered a transfer in Melbourne. I've been talking to lawyers, Seth. I have a case to take full custody of Lizzie. Go fuck yourself, Sarah. Fuck! <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Like I said, if there's anything I can do. Uh, please, take a seat. Can I get you anything? A tea or a coffee? I'm good. <sighs> How can I help you? What can you tell me about Seth Corban, the sole survivor? Seth? Hmm. He's a national treasure. One of the bravest men I know. A rare breed. A true soldier. Trained to succeed no matter what. But that's not what you're asking, is it? You've been doing some research. Well, that's my job. Stay away from Seth. His mind's not what it used to be. PTSD and all of that. A little unhinged, let's say. Your national treasure. I know that they weren't removing landmines. 
observing the clearance of landmines. Dangerous work for anyone, including ex-military types. You can cut the crap, Major. Special Forces operators observing the clearance of landmines for the UN? I don't think so. I have a contact there in the Karen State. I'm thinking of going there myself. <laughs> you go in there asking questions. You'll never come out. Simple as that, Rebecca. Then we'll have to send in people to find you. We'll have to endanger other people's brothers in order to find a civilian who just wouldn't let it go. Are you hearing me? I have to go. I've been looking into him. I know he's a father, a husband. Your killing machine. So how's that working for him? Seth's no family man. Daddy! Ha <laughs> ha! Come here! Nice to see you turned up. Still thinking of leaving? Can't take her out of school away from her friends, Sarah. Name one of her friends, Seth. Take this job, she can come stay with me. <laughs> if this goes to court, you're finished, Seth. Where's she gonna live? In a dumpster? Mom! Shh, it's all right. Come on, let's do it. Don't worry about Mom. She's been working a lot. I haven't been around much lately, have I? It's okay. When we can't get in contact with you, she gets me a babysitter. She's pretty cool. You should have seen him, Mimi. Let me see. It's all just a front, see? It's the army manipulating something. Yeah, he's pretty easy going on the eyes, too. Mimi! What? I mean, he is. Don't deny it. Come on! <laughs> Josh talked about him in his letters. Mm. Yeah, he said he was like Johnny Cash. I have to find this guy, Amy. I need to know what happened to Josh. Fantastic. Do you think you have an address? Okay, uh, yes, I do. Uh, um, mm hmm. And that's it. Amazing. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Bye, babe. Bye. Caban. <clears throat> Captain Seth Caban. You knew my brother, 
Josh Stansbury. You knew him? Yeah, I knew you, little bro. Everybody gets left behind, eh? And you're the only one here. What happened? All right, here we go, fellas. Three, two, one. Smile. Looking good, Hollywood. Snap. Looking good. Searing mosquitoes. Baby, what do you got? Should we go? Well, I've got a bit of. How about them apples, bitches? Huh? Deflated. No. Ah, no. Yeah! Look at me, for God's sake! Josh, yes, Josh? Josh Stansbury. Do you remember him? Do you remember what happened? I'm sorry for your loss, Rebecca. No, but he's still missing. There's not even a body to bury. I can't find him. Did you read the report? I don't believe they were removing landmines. You were his best friend. He told me. You were his big brother in the pack. There is no pack. Not anymore. Look, I need answers. I don't have any. Bartender, Jojo, no whiskey. Arigato. You speak Japanese? Sakoshi, Taki. Nice tattoo. Scotch, just neat. Thanks. Scotch? Sorry for stalking you. What's your aim here? To get the truth. What else would it be? Redemption. What are you saying? Got to be careful who you talk to about these things. There's always someone listening. Paranoid soldier. Who would have thought? Just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean people aren't out to get you. How does it go? Silence like a cancer grows. <laughs> Not one to question my missions, Rebecca. What did they order you to do? You were right about your brother. How was I right? To want the truth. That report won't give it to you. Then tell me the truth. Tell me about him. Josh. 
You knew him, you tell me. War changes people. What was he like before? I guess Josh was always at war. If not with our father, then with himself. Daddy issues. Don't go there. Twins have this kind of bond that most people don't understand. Josh was always fighting for me. With boys, with dad. Now you're fighting for him. Tell me what happened to him. <sighs> it's not that simple. Just tell me something. <sighs> what were you doing in Burma? If you don't blow the whistle soon, I can't do anything. I can't help you. Seth. Seth. Seth, hey, hey. I know your mission had nothing to do with landmine removal. What about your daughter? Oh, fuck, you do not let up, do you? I want to help you, Seth. I appreciate that, but I'm not asking for your help. I didn't know you were twins. <laughs> You're gonna be okay giving up those things once we're in the thick of it? You should just worry about existing. Leave me be. Sisters, right? Yeah, she made it for me when we were kids. So, uh, well, it's my daughter's. Seth, we've got movement from the east. Come here, that kid. Boys, you heard him spread out. What now? We wait. Refugees. It's Danny. They're just civilians and some priests. Some casualty.
Gunner! Okay. Put some pressure on the neck. Quick. You got it? You got okay, it? Yeah, I got it. Is she breathing? I don't know. No breath and no CPR? Breathe! Come on, sweetie, please. She's breathing. <laughs> She's priority one. Head facial neck injuries. Are we tracking on the Rio, kid? All good. Twelve enemy dead. You have to fog out. Come on. Bring the girl over. Locals will look after her. Clear Gomaya. See you in Kothwa Yeah? It's for her. Some chocolate. We did the right thing. What were you thinking? Hey! Huh? You just compromised every single one of us! Oh, she's stand oh. down! Oi! Hey! Listen to me! Face out! Stay in my Face the fuck out! What in God's name are soldiers like you doing here? Well, beats me, Gandalf. Why are we here? What do you know, old man? You look for the Australian, Carl Bodie? Were they his men? Only death follows that man. Where is he? You're a dead man. You're all dead men. What the fuck was all that about? I got no idea. All right. Let's go. Gotta get the fuck off this track. Birdie will know someone was here soon enough. Enter. Sis. Been making new friends, I hear. What do you know about her? She's a ball buster, huh? She's been snooping around. Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she's a smart girl. She knows we weren't in Myanmar looking for landmines. There comes a time when we all need to be honest with ourselves, love. And she will find it. Find what? The truth. <laughs> Gonna start giving people the truth now, are we? <laughs> truth lies, doesn't matter. It's in belief where we find peace. You had me bury the truth. We all have our missions. How about you? You still having nightmares? Still seeing things that aren't there? <clears throat> I sleep like a baby. How are you getting on with your ex-wife and Lizzie? I had a call from a lawyer. I get it, sis. You train 
for one sole purpose and you give your life to it. And then you get home and your purpose is gone, your meaning is gone. The ones you fought for turn against you and your new mission is restraint. Restraint. Yeah. Restraint. Hey, there's my friend Billy. Hi. Hi. Dad, can we have an ice cream, please? Uh, uh, yeah, sure you can. Uh. It's okay, Dad, I'll get them. Okay. You stay here too, Billy. Look after my dad. He doesn't get out much. Hey. Soldier? What makes you say that? Ah, uh, yep, okay. Did you ever... Did I ever kill anyone? No, save anyone. That's a very funny question, Billy. I guess that's not what you're here for. One soft serve with chocolate. Bye. Bye, Lizzie. Bye. You want to go and play with your friend? No. I want to hang with you. How's that? Good. Before I forget, I might do this. if we go to a house like that, eh? It'd be so cool. <coughs> Dad! Come on. Scotch, just neat, thanks. Wow. Pleasantries over, eh? <laughs> <coughs> this isn't an interrogation. Oh, come on now. My favorite sport's waterboarding. <coughs> <laughs> it's a confession. <sighs> oh. Yours. Been a while since I last went to confession. <laughs> you should probably know that. I can tell. <laughs> Just 
Jesus, you're trying to get me drunk, are you? I'm trying to get me drunk. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I like this angle anyway. You owe me an explanation. Forget journalism for a second and forget my professional integrity and all the bleeding hearts out there and the fact that the public deserve to know what their tax dollars are funding and you can forget the army or whatever the fuck you're in and your code of silence. What's left? I am. I'm the sister of your best friend and I'm fucking grieving here. And whether you tell me what happened to him or not, I'm going to find out. Hang on, what are you talking about here? I'm thinking of going to Burma. They will never approve that. Where Josh was killed is a fucking war zone. You can't just walk in with your fucking handicap and you'll be killed. You understand what I'm saying to you? Don't patronize me. I was I'm there not... not long ago. <laughs> I'll take my chances. I'm not getting any answers here, so I don't really have a choice, do I? <sighs> I spoke to your boss lady. A Michelle Pennyshaw. She says that you're sick. <clears throat> and that I should stay away from you. Does she know? <sighs> this guy is amazing. He specializes in trauma. Daddy issues. Rebecca, there are some things I need to tell you. Hey, old stuff. How's it going? You want a drink? She's got one, thanks, mate. Wasn't asking you, cunt. Was talking to the lady. I have one, thank you. Well, how's about a game of pool then? You'd uh, look pretty good bent over that table. I said no thanks, okay? Oh, come on, darling. No need to be like that. Cop a beating if I go back without you. Just come over for a quickie. Until you tell me what's going on. Rebecca, now is not the time. No, I Come leave on. at the end of this week, okay? So if you want to show me this courage that everyone keeps talking about, you've got until then. Rebecca! I leave Friday. And you might want to work on your aggression.
boring adult. I, I am not a boring old man, thank you very much. <laughs> what do you got planned this evening? Homework. Yours. I'm cooking Thai food for a friend. Hello? Hi. I thought you said we were just cooking. We... Uh, <clears throat> we are. I, I haven't, um... Is it the jacket? Too much? <sighs> I'm really sorry about the other night. Thank you. Come inside. When he enlisted, I think he was trying to get back at Dad. You know, Josh was always a bit of a kid, you know? I don't think he ever properly grew up. Yeah, I guess uh, kids are smart, though, aren't they? Mm. Like your daughter? Yeah, I like my daughter. She's amazing. And you forget... You let life punish you so much, you forget the beauty. The wonder. Does this mean anything? Lizzie would make these bracelets for me, but they would, uh, they would tend to break. Which would upset her. Of course. So I got this. Mm. It will never break. Touch wood. <laughs> Look, I can't imagine what it's been like for you. But, my God, it's... it's hard to accept that he's gone. You know, we've relied on each other our whole lives, ever since we were little kids. Yeah. Even... even to get through the night. Our father would, um... would come into our bedrooms and... Yeah, I don't know why I just shared that. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Uh, do you want some more wine? Just yes. Yeah, that's so sweet. Josh and you had a um, special connection. Yeah. I can see that. To Josh. I don't know if I can live without him. Isn't there someone else? Like a man. actually turned out to be liars. Ah, uh, they yeah. just, yes. Except the kid, he was a good guy. Absolutely. Yeah, he was. Listen, do you see anyone? Do you talk to anyone about your visions? You ever look at these, uh, these fellas and think they're just three cowards hiding from what's really happening in the world? You know. I just thought they were referring to the impressions of evil. Like evading a disease. I wouldn't call human nature a disease.
Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look at me. It's all right. Hey guys, have you seen the specials menu? It's fine, I know what we want. Dad, you just want the chowmin? Uh, sorry, darling, I'll just have a house beer, thanks. That's it. And your food order? One chicken chowmin and a small fried rice on the side. One chowmin and a small fried rice. Thank you. Dad? Dad? Seth. Lizzie, sweetheart, I'm sorry, okay? Hey. I'm sorry, your dad's just a bit sick. Look at me. I love you. Get help or don't see your daughter again, okay? Mom, Dad needs me. I do. You're the adult, Seth. She shouldn't have to grow up like this, okay? I promise I'll see you again. I love you so much. I could have heard her. But, Seth, you didn't. I just can't get it right. I'm gonna lose her. You know what the fucked up thing is? I don't even deserve a... I don't... I don't deserve a child. That's not true. Got troops on the ground in Burma. We're looking for the bodies. There's no need for you to go anywhere near there. Do you want to know the truth? Your brother and I were a part of a special ops unit. The mission brief was like any other except this one for me. It was personal. The man we were sent in to take out was one of my old commanders, an evil bastard. On his last mission, he took out his own unit and went rogue, disappeared completely off grid. Until this year, when he popped up in Myanmar killing civilians and running drugs with their military. We had three days to go in, assess the situation, and take out Carl Bodhi. What's going on, big fella? My son's pinned it. I can't find it. So your pendant, hand of Fatima. Bad GG, boss. Stretch. Better get out of this gorge. Shh. Hey, it's the luckiest charm you'll ever have. 
Seth, are we still on point? Only two clicks from the position. Goats for dinner, anyone? Bushy. Seth. Just kids, man. Why don't you shut the fuck up? I know where he is. Uh, the Australian like you. The, the one you're looking for. Bring him in. Do you know this man? Where is he? For some pay! Bum him up, you're on it! Now, Neil Kakweme. I don't trust him. Little fuckers probably work for him. We don't know that. Pretty convenient they survived the attack earlier. What's your the point, boss? Do you know this man? Look at the photo. Mr. Baldy? There you go. What did I tell you? Just because they know who he is doesn't mean they know shit. you shut the fuck up, Josh? You're gonna fucking scare him. Hey, I'm not gonna scare him. They're fucking scaring me. Well, she quiet. Where is he? Do your fucking job, you understand Walshie, Walshie, me? Your Walshie, fucking job, down. that's what you came here to do. You understand? Down, Walshie. Surf, it's hey, a fucking ambush. Surf, the two little boys. Those kids are walking fucking landmines. Man, they're ridiculous, they're just kids. Shut the fuck up, Josh. Where is he? Well, she, I said. A fucking kid, Seth! Stop! Last one. Heard us now. Do you work for Bodhi? Tell me the truth. Do you work for him? No. He's scared. Only scared. Mr. Bodhi killed all our family. You look the same as him. You look the same as Mr. Bodhi. Save him. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I am the fucking one that's sorry. I can never forgive myself. So after I cover the dirt with his brother's brains, we get this kid to show us where he last saw our objective. Yeah. 
I did think this was part of the mission. I know. I didn't ask for this either. What the fuck happened here? Fubar, huh? Who would shoot up a hospital? Radio this in. All right. Need to clear the rest of the building. Stretch. It's no service. She, no. The kid's with us. Fuck you, Seth. Well, she stand down. The ne adore Jala. You're dead, kid. Drop your weapon, kid. Well, she stand the fuck down. Fuck this kid. Guys, I'm under heavy fire. Fuck.
Fuck, I'm coming. Stretch. Keep my shot at. I shot well, she. What do you mean? You shot him? I was going to shoot the kid, and I couldn't let him do that. Mm. And Stretch... Stretch is gone. Central command base. Hmm. Who is your commanding officer? Jots, you, you made a mistake. We're here as part of the landmine observational team. We're UN certified, okay? We got fucking lost. The UN not authorized to be here? If you are not military, what is your organization? Who is your commanding officer? Major Payne. <laughs> That's what we used to call her, you remember? <laughs> oh, fuck. That old battle axe. Any sure. Fucking hell. <laughs> so she's still sending you spooks out, or is she retired to the country? Sipping tea. Trying to clean that filthy fucking conscience of hers. I don't work for her anymore. I told you, we're jots paired with the UN. Chow <laughs> Yes, I am. Why are you here? You know what I 
I really, really, really love about this country? It's the tranquility. It's the rain, you see. It uh, washes away the dirt, the mud, and all that's left. Well, it's peace. You see... I'm a man of peace. You're not a man of peace, Seth. Never were. You and I, we were... We were very alike once. That's the way I remember it. Why don't you just shut the fuck up? <sighs> Oh, fucking leave him alone. Come on See that scar? See it? You know what I call that scar? I call it Seth's conscience. You see, Seth and I, we we played the same game you're playing once. Just just the once. Yeah. There was this kid, he was about nine or ten, and he had the drop on me. Seth, he was one step ahead, as per usual, he had the drop on the kid. But you know what? Seth didn't fucking shoot him. Little bastard put a bullet through my bladder. And then Seth just let him run away. It's all good, though, because we caught the little cunt and his family trying to smuggle opium out of the border, and we fixed them real fucking good, didn't we, Seth? Real fucking good, uh, eh? Still can't piss right, though. What would happen if you hated here so much? Why'd you come back? Because here... I'm a god. A god, eh? Why don't you lend me that M16 and we'll put that to the test? What do you say? <laughs> So fucking pretentious. Hey, you came here to kill me, you prick. <laughs> you think you're better than me, don't you? You are fucking piss weak. Why don't you join me, Seth? What do you reckon? Brother, I am nothing like you. Do you hear me? Nothing. Well, if that's true, then that makes you something even worse. A liar. A coward hiding behind moral vanity. <laughs> Your mate there, I don't think he's gonna last much longer. You fucking leave him out of it, do you hear me? Fucking leave him out of it! <laughs> Fucking lord, he's no threat to you! You want to stand? Fuck off! I'll fucking kill you! I will fucking kill you! Untie him. Pick it up. Pick it up! Pick it up! Now you smash that weak piece of shit over the back of the fucking head. Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Seth, it's really simple, mate. You either kill him. Well, you both die really, really, really fucking slowly. It's all about the suffering, really. Before you drown in your own piss. Shit. You get to watch your boyfriend here drown first. 
thinking about well she and the kid what are you thinking about uh, about the kid my sister fuck <laughs> <laughs> Stop feeling sorry for yourself and get the fuck out of here. I love you. When you start giving me orders, I just start sometime. I fuck off. You're coming with me. Baby, you can't. Set this one up. Go on.
For a guard, you don't seem to hear very well. Neither did any of your men. My suffering ends here. <laughs> I don't understand. You left him? You let him drown. You're the reason it all turns to shit. <sighs> National treasure. Get the fuck out of here. Rebecca. No, you lied to me. You should have told me that before. I've got to be fucking kidding me. Having a bit of you time. Yeah, why don't you come on in, eh? They found our boys. Their bodies are in transit now. We are bringing them back. Does Rebecca know? I thought you should be the first to know all things considered. And that priest was captured by the Burmese military and killed a few nights ago. Ah, oh, well, that's convenient, isn't it, to tie these things up? Now all you need is Rebecca to be a by fucking bus. Did you tell her? She has a right to know. And I have a responsibility. To you. To those boys coming back in body bags. To their families, Seth. My job description doesn't end with a mission. What is your job fucking description, huh? To maintain the eyes of a fucking monster! Look at me! <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I have a daughter. I have the most beautiful daughter. I want her to look at me and say, Father, not this. Not this. Oh. Not this. It hurts. It will never, ever go away what you're feeling. Believe me. I know. But there is help. 
you can find a way to survive this, Seth. Soldier. They never trained you to be a victim. Let's do this already! Come on! Come on! Please let me forget. All this rain, and all this mud, and all this, this fucking mud. I failed us. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They didn't train us for this. I'm so sorry. Josh, please make it stop. Can you forgive me? Can you please go away? We made it. I'm proud of you. It was me who stood up to Dad first. I guess Josh was always punishing himself for that. Like we all do. <laughs> he was a good man, Josh. He knew that. Knowing that, that he knew he was doing the right thing. Fighting the good fight. That's enough for me.
Sorry I'm late. My appointment went longer than expected. Appointment? Daddy! Hey, kiddo. Come here. <laughs> Got your bags? Yep. Good. So, you've got this right? Yeah, I got this. Come on, we better not keep Billy waiting. They call us in MIA. Billy? You know, Mum, a friend from the park. Mm. Come on. Come on, come on. So did Mum tell you? Tell me what? She's not taking the Melbourne job. <laughs> Lucky too. She would not have been very happy there. Dad? Dad? Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. Is it your birthday? Um, no. It's a shame. I got this little present, but yeah. If it's not your birthday. Dad, what is it? Oh my god. Really? Yeah. It's house. Let's go check it out. Come on. I love you, Dad. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs>